Hello 3D printing friends! Today on the BV3D channel we're opening up the Alien 3D UFO Mystery Box for September 2019. Stick around and we'll see what's inside right after this. I'm Brian and you are watching BV3D. Hi, welcome back! Hey, if you're new here and you're wanting to learn about cool 3D printer upgrades, 3D modeling, and other 3D printing related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So today, we're opening up the Alien 3D UFO Mystery Box for September 2019. For those of you who maybe haven't heard about the product, here's what the UFO Mystery Box is and what you get. The Alien 3D UFO Mystery Box is a subscription-based filament sample box with a twist. So, in the box, you get at least four filament samples in a variety of colors and materials. And the materials are usually PLA or PETG. At 20 meters long, these are a few meters longer than what you get in other sample boxes, although there are some boxes that are more of a filament of the month club, where you get a couple of full one kilogram spools in whatever colors they're sending out that month. In the UFO box, you also get a 3D printing related accessory. And you get a 3D printing project with parts that you print out and assemble. If the project requires non-printable parts or electronics, those are included in the box. Often there are stickers, and when available, there are coupon codes for discounts on 3D printing stuff like filament, nozzles, etc. So what's the mystery box part of the product? Well, every month, one lucky subscriber receives the Mothership Prize, which is a higher value accessory in addition to everything else in the box. Last month, the prize was a BL Touch mesh leveling sensor, which tells your printer where the high and low spots are on the bed, so it can compensate for that as it's printing. So you get all that stuff for $36 US, and that includes shipping in the United States. I've got a link in the description to the UFO Mystery Box, and there's a discount code in there that'll get you $5 off your first month if you subscribe. Full disclosure, if you do that, I get a $5 credit as well. There are also less expensive Alien 3D subscription boxes, so if you only want the filament, you can get a filaments only box, and if you're only interested in the project and the accessory, you can get a projects and accessory only box. So with all that said, let's dive in and see what's inside. Let's go ahead and check out the card. Welcome to September! This month marks the end of summer and the beginning of a string of holidays and festivities. September also contains Suicide Prevention Week, which, with the holiday season coming up, I thought it would be important to bring attention to such a touchy subject. Some of us, myself included, have had some bad days, have had bad things happen to us in our pasts. Some of us just can't help it and our minds bring us down. But I want each and every one of you to know that we're all family here. Many in the community and myself are here for each other and here for you, so no matter what, know that you can reach out if you need to. I hope you all enjoy this month's UFO. Josh, Alien 3D. Let's go ahead and set this aside right here. And along with that uh, suicide prevention awareness, there is a sticker and a ribbon as well. We've also got some other stickers. We've got a sticker with Josh, Alien 3D. It says, ooze runs through my veins. And we've also got a Profi Box sticker. So we'll set those right over here. Oh, so we've also got a couple of tiny little Stroop waffles in here. Now, if you're not familiar with these, these are a pair of little waffles with caramel in between. Now, the full-size ones, you'll usually put over a cup of coffee for a few minutes to warm them up. These little ones, just eat them. If you try to balance them on a cup, they're just going to go for a swim, and that would provide a suboptimal experience. Get it? Sub? Submarine? Huh. That dad junk really sank. All right, well, I'm going to set these right here. So, ah, here are the project parts. Now, I've already looked on the Alien 3D site, so I know that these are the parts for a Wi-Fi print monitor that works in conjunction with Octoprint. There's a USB cable, a tiny, tiny OLED display, and a tiny, tiny Wi-Fi enabled Arduino sort of thing. And there's a link in the description where you'll find the project files, including code and a printable case. The accessory this month is a dial indicator. And this is a tool that you mount to the carriage on your printer and use it to see the high and low spots on the bed. There's a link to a how-to video on the Alien 3D site so you can see how to use this. Now, I'm going to have to check that video out too, but this seems like an interesting tool to have. Probably you've got to print a mounting plate or something to get it attached to your printer, and this isn't something that you leave on the printer full time. But I'm curious to give it a try and see what kind of results I get. And now we're down to the filament. I'm just going to go ahead and take it all out of the box and set the box aside briefly. 
So we've got some iced amethyst PLA from Coex. It prints from 215 to 235 C on a zero to 60 degree bed. And that's kind of cool. The color seems to change depending on what angle you see it. There's some Filament One Glint Gray Pro Select PLA that prints from 205 to 225 C on a 55 to 65 degree bed. It's a nice glittery gray or silver kind of color. I bet that would look real nice paired with that amethyst on a project. There's some Fiberology Light Green Impact PLA from Wolfworks 3D. It prints from 220 to 240 degrees C on a bed from 50 to 70 degrees C. It's almost kind of a springtime green. I like it. And finally, there's some Neon Orange PLA from 3D Universe. It prints from 190C to 230C on a 60 to 70 degree bed. And that one seems to pair really well with that light green, in my opinion. All right, well, let's go ahead and get this stuff packed back up. So this month's box is pretty good, I think. The filament colors are all really nice. The dial indicator looks like it'll be a handy troubleshooting tool. And I've got an idea of what I want to do with that Wi-Fi print monitor. Now, I'm not going to use the case design that's on the Alien 3D site. I want to do something a little different with it, so that'll probably get its own video like last month's robot arm did. So just as a side note, has anyone else noticed the top-end temperature on PLA these days? It's like they're all maxing out at around 230 or 240 degrees C. Back when I first started my 3D printing adventure a couple of years ago, PLA was a 185 to 195C sort of product. Maybe 200 degrees C if you were having trouble getting it to feed. It was ABS, it was up in the 230 range, but now all these PLA products are printing at these higher temperatures. I know the PTFE tubes used in some printers' hot ends start to get unhappy around the 240 degree range, so it's probably best to keep below 240 if you can help it. On three of my printers, I've installed Micro-Swiss all-metal hot ends, so I don't have to worry about that on them. But I know the PTFE tubes can start to deform and get yucky and make it harder to print. If you've got a printer with a PTFE tube in the hot end, and that'll be most of your Bowdoin-style printers, or printers that don't specifically have an all-metal hot end, you might want to use a little care on some of these filaments and try to print on the cooler side, like 235 and under. Okay, well, thanks for making it all the way to the end, and thanks for all the likes, comments, and shares. And if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to do that and click the bell so you don't miss any cool 3D printing videos. If you like this episode, please give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. But either way, please share your thoughts down in the comments. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help out, consider supporting the channel with a one-time micropayment. You could buy me a coffee or leave a little something in the PayPal tip jar and links for those are down in the description. You could also use the affiliate links in the description when you're shopping online. Doesn't cost you anything extra, but a tiny portion of any purchase that you make goes to the channel and helps cover the cost of making cool videos for you. Well, now that I've got some nifty new filament samples to play with, I'm going to go print something cool. You do the same, and I'll see you next time.